Good morning beautiful people and um, welcome to day three of the five day kickstart challenge. How are you all getting on? So for those of you who are new to my channel, we are doing a five day kickstart challenge, which is basically five days of workouts with me, five days of meals with me, and five days of fitness motivation. So it is for everyone to join in. It is not too late to start. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already and let's get going. So as you can probably tell, this morning is a little bit of a rush. I'm actually doing my training session in London today because I have a full day of meetings in London. I've just got to the train station now and I'm about to attempt a 45 minute journey in about 32 minutes, London life. So I don't know what is going on in London at the moment, but Circle Line is a nightmare. 10 minute wait for a train, so late. Hey, finally. So we are on to day three and this session in the gym is all about conditioning and fat burning for the body. So it's gonna be a 20 minute session, total body workout. So we're working everything from the butt to the core, the lower abs and the arms and shoulder. Hip formation of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery for 10 different exercises two rounds. I am going to show you all the different variations, all of the correct form to make sure you're doing it right and you're getting the most from the moves and most importantly staying injury free. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a warm up, three exercises to mobilize the body. First one is a roll down, squeeze the butt, pull the core in at the bottom and roll yourself back up again. Second exercise is gonna be a plank into a reach back as you tuck up and pike. Third exercise is a deep squat into a rotation to mobilize the hips, the knees and the back. You are doing each exercise for one minute each. We're gonna move into the main section now. Okay, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. The first one is jumping squats. We are gonna get the body moving. We're gonna get the heart pumping. On to exercise number two, curtsy lunges. Here I am demonstrating the lower level, which is slow and controlled. If you wanna go to the higher level, you can run them out, okay? A lot harder, but totally doable. On to exercise number three, a deep squat. Now you'll notice my weight is back through my heels. Exercise number four is heel raises in the same position. We're going to slow and controlled lift up onto the toes and back down again. Once you're halfway, 20 seconds in, you're going to pulsate it out for the next 20. Okay, exercise number five, military burpees. Horrible, but so good for the body. Chest touches the floor, jump up, land in a squat. Exercise number six, jumping lunges. We're going to then come on to exercise number seven. Grab your weights and we're going to do lunge pulsations, making sure you're concentrating on that front knee, tracking over the middle toe. If you want to make it a little bit easier, guys, you can drop the weights down 20 seconds on each leg. Okay, lovely ones, exercise number eight. It's getting harder now, keep digging deep. I want you to do a deep squat into a raise at the top, making sure you're rotating the hands as you come up, squeeze the butt at the top. Exercise number nine, you're coming down onto your knees, back up again into a deep squat before pulsating for two and back down again. Make sure you're alternating legs that you lead with with this one, guys. Talk about leave the best till last. We are doing a burpee into a raise. Thinking about form as you come up, squeeze the butt, pull the stomach muscles in and you made it. I just wanted to add in a little finisher for you. This is a core burner. You walk the hands out from a plank position as far as you can. Superman, pull that core in and hold one minute. Now take yourselves back to two minutes 08 for round two. Good luck. So we are now on to the second section of day three, which is all about upper body and abs. We're going to be working into all areas of the abs. When I ask you guys about core, where is your core? automatically everyone points to this section, the six pack area. Yes, your rectus abdominis are part of your core because your core creates a corset all around the lower back and the stomach area. However, your real core, your true core is really low down 
in the nipple line. And it's so important that we learn how to activate that correctly. Without activating that correctly, you're not gonna get any gains. Aesthetically, you're not gonna make a difference. You're not gonna tone up the stomach area if you're not activating the lower core correctly. So I have so many people messaging me about that lower pooch area that you just struggle to tone. And um, so many reasons why that might be. Bad nutrition, not enough fat burning exercises, but also, are you activating your core correctly? Doing a million sit-ups in the gym over, over, over again and just feeling it in your neck and your back, that's because you're not doing the, the form correctly, guys. So I'm gonna help you with all of that today, but if you wanna go into far more detail about it, please do have a little look up at what I've just suggested up here, which is a full session that I've done on how to activate your core correctly. It is definitely, definitely worth a watch no matter how fit you are everyone needs to correct their form when it comes to core activation. With that said, let's get going. Okay, so we're doing 20 minutes of upper body and abs. We're working into that upper part of the hourglass shape. We worked the glutes yesterday. We're working the glutes a lot tomorrow. Today we're concentrating on arms and stomach and how to draw in that little waist and create an hourglass illusion by building the shoulders and getting really nice toned, lean arms. So it's not about building the arms. Ladies all the time are like, oh, am I gonna get big by doing too much arm exercises? No, what we're trying to do is just trim them down. We're trying to tone them. We're trying to get rid of bingo wings and just feel confident in what you're wearing, okay? So feel confident in all of your dresses that you wanna show off your arms with. Anyway, let's get going. So all I want you to do is grab the weights that I told you to get into the house. Now, if you don't have weights, it doesn't matter. Just grab two water bottles, two cans of beans, two bags of sugar, whatever you've got, I don't mind. I'm gonna be doing the timer. We're doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds recovery. Okay, so we're gonna pick up the weights. We're gonna start off with our knees shoulder distance apart. Our stomach muscles are pulled in and our tailbone is tucked in so that our butt is squeezed. Yes, we're working the arms, but we are activating the whole of the core. We're going in three, in two. We're gonna start off with the palms facing in towards each other, lifting the arms up to 90 degrees, turning them down, take them out, back in, turn down, and back down again. Okay, so when we're doing this, we are squeezing the shoulder blades together, and at all times, we're activating the core. Super, super important, okay? Now, on your lower level, absolutely fine. Just go to warm up the arms without a weight. Yes, it looks like nothing, but believe me, once we're a few minutes in, not just to this exercise, to all of them, you are gonna start feeling those arms. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. I think we can probably get in another two. Really pull those stomach muscles in while you're doing this. This is just the warm up. Good work. And back down again, amazing. One down, guys, one down. We have 20 seconds recovery. I'm gonna show you what the next one's gonna be. Again, stomach muscles activated, butt squeezed. We're gonna come up, we're gonna turn like we did before, and we're gonna to come to a 45 degree angle, okay? And we're gonna hold. Going in three, two, let's go. Up we come, turn and hold, 40 seconds. Pulling those stomach muscles in, squeezing the butt muscles. Again, if you struggle, you've got two options. Either make the lever shorter by bending, or get rid of the weights, absolutely fine. Hold, there are gonna be points where they wanna drop down. If it's really sore, if you're feeling the lower back, I want you to lower down, readjust, tuck the tailbone under, and hold. Now I'm gonna show you that form from the side. As soon as you feel, let's check the timer, okay, as soon as you feel that that lower back is arching like this, it's when you're gonna really hurt the lower back, or like this, okay, with the rib cage forward, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the butt, super important, last five, Four, nice and strong, shoulder blades squeezed, two, and lower down one, amazing. Okay, two down guys, two down. Shake the arms out, literally just getting into it. Okay, next one, two options, either two weights or one. If you're lower level, we are gonna go driving. Okay, arms out in front, and we're gonna twist side to side, 40 seconds, in three, in two, let's go. Now, if you've got two weights, like so, okay? If you're lower level, absolutely fine. Drop one of the weights down, pull those stomach muscles in, and turning side to side. Now, I don't wanna see the arms down here. That's not doing anything. We wanna see them up here. This is something I see in my classes all the time, this, okay? Can you see how I'm hinging through the lower back? 
and my rib cage is flaring. Tuck that bow tailbone under, squeeze the bottom muscles, activate the stomach muscles, and twist. We're nearly there, guys. We're gonna go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, shake the arms out. You should start feeling them now, okay? It's really light little warm up. We're only three minutes in. Next one, we're coming up to that 45 degree angle again, okay? And we're gonna draw some circles with the arms. We're going in three, in two, let's go. 40 degree angle, 45 degree angle, and circles. We've got this. Form, form, form. No hinging through that lower back. Can you see how my rib cage really sticking out? Pull it in. Pull those stomach muscles in. Last five, four, three, two, and reverse. Now, if you're struggling, place the weights down. Trust me, just with the arms, once you've been doing a little bit of weights is sometimes enough. Sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it can work. Or lower the load, okay? We have last five, four, three, no break with this one, we're gonna hold. 20 seconds, you can do it. Now, if you're struggling, place the weights down, but we're gonna pump it up for the last 10, nine, eight, seven, you've got this, breathe. Five, four, three, two, woo, and one. Amazing, shake them out, guys, shake them out. Right, we're going down onto the mat now, because we're gonna be doing some press ups, okay? So we've still got, 10 seconds left of recovery. What I want you to do is find the press up form that suits your body. Hopefully people have shown you this before. If not, I am gonna do a YouTube on how to do correct press up form for us ladies. Okay, choose the level that suits you. We're gonna take the chest as close as we can. If we want to, we can drop down onto the knees before coming back up again. If you can do a full press up, Amazing, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Let's go. It's 40 seconds of hard work, pulling those stomach muscles in. Different variations, okay? You can tuck the elbows in to work the triceps, tuck them under the body into a tricep push-up. If you want to, come down into the knees, push back up again. You wanna go for full press-ups, do. We're not going for speed, we are going for form, okay? This is in correct form, my butt is up in the air. We wanna take that weight forward and we wanna get the chest as close to the floor as possible. Last three, two, and one. Amazing, well done guys. Five down, you're coming straight back up. No breaks, no breaks, no breaks. We got this, okay. We're now gonna be working into the triceps. We're gonna take these weights behind our head. We're gonna interlock our fingers and lift up. If you have a kettlebell, amazing. If you wanna go a little bit lighter, one, three, two, let's go. Okay, again, form, stomach muscles are in. You can do it. So you wanna lower all the way down and back up again. So it's slow on the way down and fast on the way up. We've got this. Come on, keep pushing. You can do it, guys, you can do it. Keep pushing for me, no giving up. 40 seconds of work, we can do it. Good, 20 seconds left, come on, keep pushing. If you wanna make it harder, add weights in, add load in, just don't give up, okay? I know this starts to burn for the last five, four, three, two, hold them halfway, 20 seconds, halfway. That's all the way, that's all the way down, we're halfway. Keep holding, keep breathing, keep pushing, do not give up. Last 10, nine, can you see how my core is activated? I'm pulling my stomach muscles in. Four, three, two, woo, and one. Amazing guys, shake those arms out, okay. We're starting to get there. 20 seconds of recovery, so the next one is gonna be a simple hold out in front. 10 seconds, followed by 10 seconds at 90 degrees, followed by 10 seconds in front, and 10 seconds at 90 degrees again. You guessed it, we're going in three, two, let's go nice and high, holding. 10 seconds only, we can do it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, out we come. 10, nine, eight, Seven, it's gonna hurt. Six, five, four, three, nice and strong. Two, and one, back out in front. 10, nine, squeeze those shoulder blades. Seven, higher, six, five, four, three, two, out they come. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, out in front, last ten, nine, eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, this is the last exercise, up and down, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, eight, six, four, three, two, out to the side, last round, pumping up, one, Two for 23, four, five, we can do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, halfway, 10, nine, pull that core in, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, woo, and one. Oh my gosh, my arms are on fire. Okay, we now have two minutes of intense abs to finish up with then we're done. Okay, so move the weights to the side for now. We're gonna come down into line, and then from there, you're just gonna check your point. So you might find that the lower back is pretty arched, totally normal, but what I want you to do is consciously tilt the pelvis backwards, flatten the back into the mat, so we're gonna come forwards to create a gap, then we're gonna tilt backwards. And once you're back, we call this imprint in Pilates, okay? So this is anterior pelvic tilt, which loads of us are naturally. We're gonna take ourselves into posterior pelvic tilt. We're gonna pull the stomach muscles in, and more importantly, we're gonna squeeze the butt because they work together. From there, pretend you're wearing a pair of really tight skinny jeans that are a size too small. We're trying to button them up, okay? From there, we're gonna come up into single leg tabletop, 90 degrees at the knees and the hip. Double leg tabletop, we're gonna take those knees together. We're gonna to come up into a crunch, and to protect the neck, we're gonna tuck the chin to the chest like we're holding an imaginary piece of fruit. Eye gaze is in between the knees. We're supporting the neck, but we're keeping it tucked. And we're gonna tap one foot down, bring it back up again. Let's go. Now this is gonna go for 30 seconds. Our two minutes of intense ab work has started. Now you'll notice as I come back in, my knees don't come any closer than 90 degrees. You'll also notice that my lower back isn't arching. I'm going to show you incorrect form now, guys. Can you see how my lower back is arching? That is not doing anything for the core, and it's also going to cause you an injury, okay? We have five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to keep those legs up. We're going to free off the hands, but we're going to keep our head in the same position as we go for hundreds, pumping the arms up and down. Now, as you can see, my lower back is still flat in the mat. If your neck is hurting, support your head with your hand and keep the eye gaze in between the knees. We're doing a breath in for five and a breath out for five to make it harder. Straighten the legs out. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Breath out, two, three, four, five. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Last 10 seconds, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Last eight, seven, six, five, last four, last three, last two, and one. Hands go straight underneath the small of the back. We lower down as far as we can. Again, without that back arching, see how my back arched. I want that back flat, and we're gonna flutter kick. Keeping the chin to the chest, and your eye gaze is towards your feet. Breathe it out, 30 seconds of work. We only have 45 minutes of this entire session left. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have five seconds rest. We're gonna heel tap it home in three, in two. Hands underneath the smaller back. Okay, let's go. Tapping, 30 seconds. We can do it. I'm with you the whole way. Breathe, the chin is to the chest. We're pulling those stomach muscles in. The back is flat. We're not arching like this, okay? So important, all the way. Last 15, come on, then we're done. Then we're done. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, and one. Oh my gosh, intense but amazing. Okay, so we have complete our 10 minutes of intense abs and upper body. I'm so proud of you guys. The good news is you have a one minute break now before you go in and do the second round. The bad news is I want you to take yourself back up to this point in time 
and repeat those whole 10 minutes again. I'm not gonna be with you for this round, otherwise the vlog would be about two hours long, but I do want you to go back, repeat, stay focused, think of the results, think of why you started, and we have got this. Bye bingo wings, bye pooch on the lower stomach. We can do it guys, don't give up. Okay, so we are complete for the day. That was a total body burner. I personally think this day wasn't quite as bad as Monday and Tuesday. I'm very aware we are halfway through the challenge and you're probably quite exhausted. So this was a little bit more of a conditioning day. Tomorrow we up the ante quite a bit again. We go back into fat burning. It gets intense. We do fat burning and we do a lot of booty and leg sculpting. Guys, you made it through the exercise. I am so proud of you. As per, you smashed it. We're gonna be taking ourselves over to the kitchen now and we're gonna be cooking. Day three's meal is a full vegetarian meal and I am so excited for it. It is a spicy chickpea curry and you can actually choose what you wanna put it with either quinoa, rice, couscous, whatever works for you guys. I haven't quite decided yet, but 20 minutes of cooking, deliciousness, and I would recommend cooking quite a bit. You can then have it for lunch over the next couple of days. So what I love about this meal is it's so simple yet delicious, and the recipe comes to about four pounds per person. So, oh, absolute winner. So all you need is chickpeas, chopped tomatoes. These are your herbs and spices right here. Cajun, all-purpose seasoning, a little bit of paprika, mixed herbs. You are cooking in coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil, if you prefer. And then we have heaps of spinach, onion, and we're gonna be doing it tonight with quinoa. So you've got options. Quinoa, rice, obviously not quite as healthy and not as high on protein, but still good. I would recommend quinoa or couscous though. Okay, so we're gonna start off by finally chopping one whole onion and then we're gonna place one tablespoon of coconut oil until it melts down into the pan and add the onions. While they are sizzling away, you're gonna rinse some chickpeas before adding them into the pan. Now onto our spices, we're gonna add two tablespoons of Cajun, one of paprika, two of all-purpose seasoning and one of mixed herbs. You are then gonna add two cans of tinned tomatoes before covering over for 10 minutes and watch it simmer. You're then gonna add a whole bag of spinach. Again, cover over the pan for 10 minutes and the spinach is just gonna wilt down. Once you've done that, you wanna mix the curry together, let all of the spices absorb, and you are dishing up onto a bed of quinoa. This is my favorite vegetarian meal, packed full with protein, nutritious and delicious. So that is day three complete. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty exhausted and I'm so excited to get stuck into this. Um, that was pretty full on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you're feeling energized and so much better for having done it. This meal is absolutely delicious. So I'm hoping yours looks a little something like this. It's vegetarian packed full with protein and just yummy. So about to get stuck in, gonna rest my body before tomorrow. What to expect tomorrow? It's a lot of fat burning again, guys. I know that is a struggle, but it is so good for your body, for your mind. You won't regret it and the results are amazing. So thanks for joining. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you have a little look down below press subscribe and if you know anyone else who would benefit from this make sure you mention it to your friends your family because we are all in this together we're all going to get lean with lily and we are all a community so i'm here to help you all and i really hope you're enjoying these five day challenge three down two to go Mwah! sending you loads of love and please ignore the hole in my jumper it's nice to be cozy at home help me <laughs>